ruins of the larger and originally bow-shaped Bharat Varsha, which was divided by the sons of Sagara. Being completely surrounded by water, the islands are mutually unreachable. In the Vedas, Bharat Khanda, our earth, is also referred to by other names such as Sudarshan Dvip, Kumarika Dvip, and Navadvip, etc. The famous mountains known as the Himalayas are tall and immovable. Here we find an abode of Lord Shiva, the greatest of the demigods. In the center of Jambu Dweep stands the most extraordinary divine golden mountain called Meru. Meru is shaped like an inverted cone and it is the sporting place for the demigods. Around Meru are many supporting mountains called Kesara. Jambu Dweepa is 0.8 million miles in diameter and is surrounded by the saltwater ocean of the same width. On top of Mount Meru is a resort of Brahma called Manovati. The famous celestial river Ganges descends to the center of Manovati and then flows out into four directions. Surrounding Manovati in the eight directions are the resort cities of the chief demigods. One of these cities is Amaravati the resort of Indra, king of heaven. King Indra lives here in majestic opulence attended to by musicians, dancers and reciters. This is what you call as Brahma Sarana, the place of the palace. Knowledge of Meru and the cosmography of the greater earth has been preserved and taught carefully by learned scholars in the preceptorial line known as the Madhva Sampradaya. The greater earthly planetary system extends out to the edges of the universe and has a diameter of four billion miles. Known as Bhumandala, shaped like a lotus flower, it has seven concentric islands and oceans with Mount Meru as its pericarp. The seven oceans respectively contain salt water, sugarcane juice, liquor, clarified butter, milk, emulsified yogurt, and sweet drinking water. Sometimes Vedic cosmology is misconstrued as portraying the earth to be a flat disk. This flat earth misconception arises partly due to our inability to understand Vedic nomenclature. A single object may be referred to by several names and a single name may refer to several objects. For example, the term Earth may be used to describe at least six different aspects of cosmology. The Earth we live on is indeed a globe as explained by the Sanskrit word Parimandale, meaning spherical, used in the Mahabharata text. The flat disk refers to the greater earthly planetary system of Bhumandala. Four elephants of inestimable size are placed at the four directions for balancing the greater earth. Below the earthly planetary system are seven subterranean realms named Atala, Vitala, Sutala, Talatala, Mahatala, Rasatala, and Patala, which do not receive sunlight and which are inhabited primarily by demoniac living entities. To reach the first one, 
one must go 80,000 miles downward through underground tunnels. At successive depths of 80,000 miles are the remaining six nether worlds, all of which are fully developed underground civilizations. In the fourth level downward, Talatala Loka, lives the magical architect Maya Danava, who has designed many brilliantly decorated cities where proud materialists reside. Below the nether worlds are the 28 hellish planetary systems. The demigod of justice, Yamaraj, judges the unrighteous human beings after their deaths and sends them to one of these planets. There, errant souls are administered appropriate punitive measures corresponding to their misdeeds. The earthly and subterranean planetary systems rest upon one of the hoods of the gigantic divine serpent, Shesha. Shesha in turn is held up by the colossal transcendental tortoise, Kurma. And Kurma resides in the ocean that fills half the universe. stalwarts in Kerala, like uh, Madhava, who gave infinite series formulae for um, sine, cosine, pi, nearly two centuries before Newton was born to teach calculus to the world. Albert Einstein also recognized the contribution of Vedic mathematics to science. We owe a lot to the Indians who taught us how to count, without which no worthwhile discovery could have been made. <laughs> 